How do I pay off my bounty? Can I even do it while I'm in this system? Because this is a UC, a UC the system. Look at this guy. Keeper Aquilus. Oh God. Can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? This guy's old as dirt. This is all you, Mateo. Keeper, we were hoping to talk to you about... Unity. <laughs> You want to subject your friend here to one of our talks, Mateo? Oh, God. The future of humanity is always a long discussion. No, that's not exactly what I meant. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Okay. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? No! They're really good. Can you keep walking? Are you guys going to the fucking local goddamn YMCA pool after this or something? Why are you guys wearing that? Are you guys just big fans of Michael Phelps? I personally like Michael Phelps because he took fat bong rips. That's my Olympic athlete. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? It's with the wind chimes. We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. The fucking wind chimes, they gotta stop. There's no wind, we're inside. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering his meaning. What the fuck does that There's mean, dude? There's an old dude? story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but... Maybe it's more. Can you give me the cliff notes? I understand you have doubts. But walk with me just a little bit further. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Okay. That's an odd saying, very specific. Sounds like the House of Enlightenment and Varun have the other parts, then unless the story includes a set of coordinates, we're not finding anything. But what if it does? <laughs> not my version, obviously, but the House of Enlightenment. Varun. I've spoken to them before, but I never thought of scrutinizing their answers for clues. You're going to make me go talk to both of them? The Enlightened work out of a well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but
but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Her. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Okay, you do that. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for thanks, man. Thanks. You guys are fucking right. Professional yaps a lot. Jesus Christ, keeper. Andresia, let's go. Wait, I have a sermon to do. I have a sermon. Among the grab jumps. Hallelujah! Alright, let's go, Andresia. There's no there's no place to even sit. This door. Mateo deserves the keeper. <laughs> oh. True, honestly. Alright. Let's do Varun first. Settled Systems News Network. The SSNN. Wait, it's on the spaceport. Fuck, am I supposed to go to my ship for this? Lord of Gaben plays, yo. Thank you for the 97, man. Welcome back, sir. Negative, thank you again. Uh, oh no. It's just in this area. Oh, is this the uh, UC security area? Uh oh, I have a bounty. Maybe they'll let me pay for it. You think I can pay them for my bounty in the security office? Dude, if I talk to one of them, they're literally gonna say that I owe them a bounty. To their business with the term. Hello, Sergeant Yumi. You don't need to wear your helmet on this. Planet. I'm not wearing a helmet, no dumbass. Way. Like, actually, look at me. Hello. A visitor. I have all the company I need. What? Your hair? <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. That is the single loneliest statement I've ever heard. Jokes. <laughs> you come to hear about Varun. Like the guards. Like the keeper. The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe. And all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more. No less. Why are these dudes talking in riddles? It is not an answer, for there is no question. The Great Serpent will come. All concerns are meaningless in the face of the oblivion he will assuredly bring. The you Great Serpent and I are a lot alike. Keeper's pilgrim, do you not? I will tell you of him, and then you will leave. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan. The unbeliever says, "Remember these one hundred and twenty rotations." Four, one, two, but Jinan zero. Knows this is blasphemy, and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. I, yep, got what I needed. Four. I'm not gonna talk to any of you guys. Is there a bounty board? Let me see. Bounty board, bounty board, bounty, bounty, bounty board. No? Now listen, Sergeant Yumi, I'm gonna talk to you really quick. 
But if you arrest me... Looks like you got some fines to clear up. That's fine. I got you. I'll pay the fine. Smart move. Now, come along with us. What the we'll fuck? Any contraband and stolen property and you'll be free to go. Why does it do that? I said I'd pay the fine. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Spread I suppose fire. that is ours now. Hey? Eh? Oh, I've already unlocked it, so I just get it back. That's nice. All right. Wait, she went invisible too. Nice. All right, got all my shit back. Don't have the bounty. Did my time. Easy. Motherfucking easy, baby. New Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security. All right. Takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. <sighs> Back to the well. Where all, where the good people live. You know, coming from a neon street rat. I fit in well in the well. I fit in well in the well. You knew what I meant. I fit in right. If you're looking for a tracker. A tracker? No. I'm not looking for a tracker. Brody Jane? Jason, I used to drink. Then cool. I met Jane. Stay safe. We run a number of social programs from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Can you look to look at me oh, when you're talking? Sorry. Su super rude. Can I help you? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, Thank you. our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. His facial hair beard combo and his hair is all great. I want coffee and donuts. <laughs> We might actually have some, but uh, anyway, a man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. <laughs> That's what you got out of that, huh? Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help, but that's about all I've got. Hope you find what you're looking for. Cool, man. You never even looked at me, Andy. Andy! I actually like that voice actor. I'm not much I could listen to him I'll all day long. Especially because he like speaks it. so quickly. He got through his line so fast, and I was like, "Ooh, this, this is a good speed." Oh wait, did I, I ever? About Henry from did I ever get that time. thing from the Red Mile for this guy? I don't think so. Days. Oh well. Oh well, it is what it is. It's loud as hell in here. Yo, Son of Dragons Gaming, thanks for the raid, man. Better than looking at the horribly animated face. Well, I don't know about that. All right, return to the keeper. Whoa, is that a body? Oh no, 
These are flowers. If you attempt to engage me in combat, I will be forced to detain you. I didn't even do anything, bro. I just came over and looked at you, you psycho. I'll have you know I own a penthouse here. You can't speak to me like that. Bro, he was about to drop me. Why does my head always turn when I'm running? Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories? I don't know, a bunch of numbers. Like the enlightened story used the word second and two. I spoke to the Varun Zealous. She said Jinan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? The enlightened story used the word second hmm. and two. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Okay. Was there anything else? Uh, that must mean something yes. in your story. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Me too, listening to you. Indum. That's the name of the star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. Holy shit. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. We're in. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? There's something sacred out there bringing everything together. It's just a word and I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. Only total conviction will bring us the truth. We are being tested. It's just a word. And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds a belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? Um, hmm. The benefit of science is that a person's thoughts can be tested. That doesn't give me license to define unity beforehand. So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective. A goal you're bound to reach. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun i have to admit go find your truth none of nothing about this was fun i hate you i hope you drown while you're swimming god that dude's obnoxious i never want to have a conversation with him again not a single time we're going to end him Indum. Oh, Indum is super close. That's convenient. Go, go to Indum 2. I think we've been to Indum. Indum 2. Eight, yeah, look at that. Pilgrim's Rest. Temple Alpha is on this planet. So wait, is that Temple Alpha? Was that actually the first the first temple we went to? If you made, someone made a concerted effort to survive here. Oh, this is nice. Unknown. Life signs. Go 
Pilgrim's writing. So here's the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance. I need workers. I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions, and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine, or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let loan. I love. I want them to understand, so I try gently as I might to nudge their minds along the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care of these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. That's a whole lot of words for a whole lot of nothing. Oh, there's no fucking door. <laughs> At last, but a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? Have they driven me mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own, and that even if only it exists, there is sufficient for me to that it is sufficient for me to believe in anything else. Unity has restored me once more. This time, I act alone for now. Bro, I'm over reading this shit. Yup. Me no want to read. Me want to shoot. Yeah, that's a loud ass generator. spirit I I am I what I am a, I am I am I am I am not crazy I am not crazy I am not crazy access the locker room search for clues on unity go to Indom 2 alien stew staple gun it aren't crazy. I don't see any numbers hidden in here. Flip page. The temperature is unreasonably low here. We should not stay long. Well, maybe put some fucking clothes on, you know? I don't know. Call me crazy. If you came seeking the right answers, you will know what question to ask. What is the unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? People are necessary, but people are madness. Who is your most formid formidable opponent? Formidable opponent. Myself. Where does enduring contentment come from? In growing, becoming better, stronger, a nice cool drink, and stopping and embracing, in growing, becoming... That is an answer, but it is not my answer. Find my writings, read them closely. Fuck. Okay. What is the unity? People are necessary. No one. Fuck. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so I was right all the way. What is the unity? People are necessary. Myself. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. Don't need to Google it. Easy. Process of elimination. Why Google when brain do good? I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion sting hides the truth. 
Find the Scorpion Sting on Hyla 2. Ear Grub Paperweight. Motherfucking uranium. Okay. It still wants me to go to this planet, though. Why? I think I need to. I think I'm good now. Yo, it's amazing how good you can read when you just want to get it over with. Bro, I can't read. Oh my god, this is super fucking far. Holy shit. here we gotta jump a couple systems this thing is not a, a far traveler welcome to the free star collective please maintain your current welcome course we to the free star collective oh we're back near neon this, this is a system i've never been to scan complete go ahead and land Power up my grab drive. Dude. If I didn't have epilepsy, I definitely have it now. Okay, that's where we're going. Hello, that's back Captain. Then. Oh. We pose no threat here. Quite the opposite. When I'm making another run out of New Atlantis, taking universals out in the stars. Oh, God, more of these Get fuckers. Closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy. God's not real! Galaxy. I've got to go. Of course. Stay safe. <laughs> I, I, I just, I got to go. I can't be a part of whatever you're doing, all right? I don't, I, I, I got shit to do. I really got shit to do. This is a whole new system I've never been to. There's probably so many systems I haven't touched. Every time. Are, is everyone okay? I feel like my retinas are burned. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ship debris. Ancient ruins. I, I forget that. There's a chemical I can take, and it will lower the cost of research. Might as well pop that every time. Ooh, look at that. A little, a little oasis. Wait a minute. It looks like I'm playing Assassin's Creed. Places like this. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, bro, you friendly? Oh. You actually are. Okay. That statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? I don't know, man. Hey, we're cool. I got no beef with you guys. I know I'm getting close, but we're all good. We're all good. God, you guys are ugly as shit.
very confused. Supposed to be the last location. Okay. Uh, hey, thanks, aliens. Have a good one. What in the fuck? Borum, a Borum Prime. Unexplored route, that's fine. Oh. I got it, dude, I need a better ship for long jumps. Paradiso. But have we been here? You think it's actually a paradise? Go all the way. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning oh. the large ship and we were willing and able. Oh, uh, security office in Paradiso. My bad. I'm too busy doing my own shit, bro. Well, rip. I think those guys are gonna die. Okay, jump to the system and then we'll jump to the planet. Maybe that's why. Maybe it was because I was trying to jump straight to the planet. See, people on YouTube, I cut out most of those, so they don't even. Oh, shit. Oh, the Scorpius, the Scorpius. Wait a minute. You want me to meet you? I can speak for myself. The emissary. Constellation ship. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Fine, I'll begin docking you. Good. See, we can all get along. For now. For now. Oh, that's crazy. I'm ready to fuck him up. Oh god, we're coming in hot. Shit. This looks cool. Retrieve waiting followers? Hello. Again. Hello. <laughs> you got you, you got something on your visor. And their ship, the Helix. 
I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Because I'm stronger, better, faster. Damn right it is, bitch. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. Then go away! For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. I agree. Killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list. No, I'm not going to do that. That's a bad idea. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. It. A gateway. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. Oh. So, uh, I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. Whoa! Sam? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I'm wearing your I hat! I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done. Countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? What the fuck? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. 
You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help one of you we combine our artifacts and to the unity. Bingo! I want a truce. Between all three of us. I will give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Talk to the hunter, talk to the emissary, leave the Scorpius. What the fuck, bro? This took a turn now, didn't it? You guys got any hidden loot in this goddamn fucking Starborn spaceship? Listen, you, where do you guys take Starborn shits? Is there a fucking toilet around here? Because I gotta drop a massive dookie. No, seriously, though, where the fuck is your shit? Oh. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. I mean, but you're good enough, you know? It is not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. I'm gonna become a Starborn? Be leaving this universe Woo! behind to be reborn. Everything you were before. Oh, I don't want to leave everything. Gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion, or is it testing us? Okay. The Unity, you might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won over and over. I don't like him. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Cool. Well, I'm definitely not going to go with you, Hunter Fuckboy. Because I love... I love Sam! I love him! Before you leave... Oh. See? I want to give you something. A way to another artifact. But also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there. You must discover for yourself. Oh. Here, to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Okay. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Well, should I should I tell Cora that you're alive? Should I tell your daughter that technically you're like kind of alive? I mean, you are her dad, sort of. Right? Sort sort of. Bro, that took a turn. I did not expect that. I'm gonna be real with you. I did not expect that. I'm going to the motherfucking moon, baby. Oh no, we gotta return to the lodge first. So wait, you guys are saying that the characters who play like the emissary and the hunter can change somebody said one of their emissaries your emissary was barrett that's so interesting Security i wonder, here is I wonder so why visible. mine was sam because sam, it makes cause sam died i 
found comfort in the idea that the odds of something killing us here are at an all-time low. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sam. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Wait for the service. Five UT days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Yeah. It's the center of a multiverse. We're building the way to it. Wait. Say that again. Multiple universes? Yeah, and hopefully the other you versions of you aren't such fuckers. What I think you mean. Oh, you know, Let's I mean it. take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards. And the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Are you serious? I met a version of Sam. He told me the Unity creates the starboard and then they can cross universes. Apparently in another universe, I died and Sam lived. He's the emissary now, a starboard. And that's why the starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. This is our mission to go to the unknown. Think of what, what awaits us, a new life, the power to the Starborn. I suppose it's better that we do it than allow the Starborn to continue this game of theirs unchallenged. True. Everyone stay focused. We're still in this to discover the unknown, even if that unknown has just gotten infinitely larger. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. I see what you did there. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. I'm ready. Yo, Syracuse, hey, what up, baby? Welcome back, bro. These glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Thanks. I'll follow up. Catch a smile out there. Catch, catch, catch a smile. Hey, We're going uh, to Freya. Let's not stick around the lodge too long. We should get out there. You're not coming with me. Or are you? Actually, no. Listen. You risk your life to save me. I always will, Barrett. I keep wondering. As long as you wear that, that on your head. It harder to save Sam too. I've replayed those moments in my mind over and over. And you need to know that you did what a leader does. And if it had been me instead of him, I would feel at peace knowing that he made it. You can thank me with a ton of credits. I appreciate the humor, but I know better <laughs> than anybody that it's just a mask. I don't know if you're ready to talk or if you need 20 years to get to that point or if you never want to talk about it again. But I just want you to know that if you do, I'm here for you. Oh shit, that was real. You were just easier to save. Sometimes it just comes down to that. It is what it is. Of course you do. We all do. Take whatever time you need. Just please don't remove yourself from our lives. Not after all this. We can't lose anyone else. I feel nothing but rage. What's going to happen to Cora? I don't know. We'll take care of her. I'm sure we will. We'll figure it out. She hates me. It is normal to be angry, to feel all the things you feel right now. I won't promise you that it gets easier. I won't say that your anger won't turn inwards. I won't pretend to tell you that this will pass or that you'll be able to move on. But what are you going to tell me? But if you want to feel more than the rage, you're going to need to work for it. It's harder than anything else. 
But when you're ready, I'm here. Sam was my buddy. He was practical and goofy and a genuinely decent man. He would never want you to feel like this rotten situation was your fault. I promise you that. Yes, though an overabundance of caution might be a weakness. You know, we're fortunate. Constellation brought us all together and we're all better for it. If we're going to set things right, it's going to be because of that. Take a break. Let's chat. <laughs> what? The lodge feels... Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to get married? I have done so in the past, when necessary. But I... And that, I think, has worked. I'm skipping this dialogue. I just want to ask you a <laughs> personal question. I have never been surrounded. It has been a very... There are worlds beyond. That's it? That's all I got? Okay, bye. I feel like I'm really missing out on the romance. Monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of... Don't, don't, don't touch me. Wait for the service. Go to Freya. Go to Nova Galactic Research Station. Is this the one that's on Luna? Yeah, uh -huh. let's do it. We're going to the motherfucking moon, boys. I'm trying to riz Andresia, but it's as you can see, it's just not really, it's not working. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Oh, I don't have the riz, bro. I don't have it. Romance Vasco, dude. Imagine just straight robot sex. He'll never get tired of penetrating me. Might have to oil him up a little bit, but that'll be okay. How do I... Ah. Right here. Moon base key. Unlocked with the moon base key. on the moon base, right? Don't be in here, or I'll drop you like a bad habit. Come here, bitch. Project Prism launch. We're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like to everyone to suit up and join us on the roof. Reminder to please sync all watch at the Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on the radio for the launch where we'll be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. I want to remind everyone the research team that Voltaire is a high, highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's me. You can see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can prove for us, or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation, but there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. Project Prism. Restricted equipment key. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Hopefully yeah. for no reason we need to be concerned about. Well, maybe. Fucking maybe moon base. Slate. Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. I mean, hey, I bet there's some chicks to be into that. It's not a great opening line. You seriously can't get a date? You don't ask for Yeah, us. come on. Hey, no one asked you. Play the recording on the roof. Optional. Collect all the slates. Hmm. Are there more slates? Blushy. G frame. 
No. Oh. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are gonna travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm Sabina. trying to share my dreams here. Sabina well, the Teenage Witch. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? True. Who doesn't like to bitch and moan the whole time? Okay, did I miss anything else in here? Any slates in the toilets? Chunks, eel gel, ramen. Bro, I could fuck up some ramen, dog. How was it look? Oh. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire and thinks I don't know this. <laughs> and Sabina's been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. Hmm. Any other slates? Really wants me to search everywhere, doesn't it? What's gonna be in the safe, baby? Damn, bro. That doesn't work. Any these two and then a four piecer? Ah, there we go. Uh, incendiary modified side star. We'll succeed at that before we are discovered. What do you mean discovered? Don't worry about me. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Yeah, that's kind of dope. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks. But now you have it. You're welcome, humanity. Excuse me? The fuck? Ooh, vodka. They leave a lot of just uh, uh, tissues around. You know, I don't know what they're doing here on this moon base. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. I don't know what ship it is, but I hope I get it. I want a ship. I need a new ship. My ship sucks. My ship is straight cheeks. Okay, that's an airlock to get out of here. Up we go. It did say go to the roof, right? Oh, let's go. Nice. When I accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological.
anthropological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh, just got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh, I won't be able to go to the funeral. <sighs> Goodbye, Babushka. Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. Mamushka. It brought me to the moon. Damn, that's kind of sad. Also, I get the audio log thing. Like, why isn't there text here? Like, come on. We're in the... It's 2,140. You're telling me that they don't have fucking... You know? Uh, speech to text? Like, come on. I don't want to have to listen to it if I don't want to. Let me read it. Coffee bag. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Seal it. Thank you. Microscope. Don't need that. All right. Oh, wait. How do we get to the roof? Is it inside, outside? Maybe it's outside. Oh, can you exit the slate and have it still listen? I thought it stopped it. Go to NASA. Go to NASA? We're going to NASA? Woohoo! We're going to fucking NASA! Let's go! Wait, that's sick. What's, wait, what is that structure? It's like a little tower with a ball on it. I got. I gotta go investigate it. I got it. I gotta check it out. Just real quick. There's a cave? Like, what is that? There's probably absolutely nothing of interest over here, but I have to check it out. I see balls, I hunt balls. It's that simple. Luna survey data added. Science outpost. Oh, cool. Can't wait to absolutely get nothing in here. Oh, oh my god, you scared the inside. shit out of me. Did everyone make it back safe? Looks like we're missing one. No reason for me to go in here, so let's go in here. Search for, search for the missing scientist. I'm not going to find the missing scientist. I'm not doing an escort mission. He's dead. Let him go. I don't know how you get lost on the moon, but you fucking got lost on the moon, and that's your own damn fault, you know? Maybe don't get lost on the moon. Oh, 
Ooh, a melon. I do be loving Whatever melons. Experiments were going on here Fat melons. Running loose. Absolutely giant bazongas. A lot of our systems are outdated. We really need an upgrade to the whole infrastructure. I don't care. Here's an idea. Get off the moon. Run away and never return. Oops. You know? Go somewhere else, man. All right. I don't know why I'm stealing from these people. I don't need it. I'm outie. Get me off this. We got to go to Earth. Go to NASA. Hong Kong landmark. I haven't done that. Holy shit. We're going to NASA. Where's NASA? Texas? The NASA launch tower. Or is NASA in Florida? Where is, where is NASA? NASA's in Texas, right? I think it is. Ah. Yeah, nope, definitely Texas. Looks the same, too. <laughs> 